Um, also, I guess I should say, so I was going to stay and just chatting for a little bit and hang out with you guys, and then I was going to move on to playing the final game um, out of the series that we have been uh, playing through, which is the Amika Games series, so the guys that made Locked Up, um, as well as uh, Find Yourself. So the final game was Summer of 58, uh, and so I thought that would be kind of cool to, to go through all of those. Now, Summer of 58, basically in the summer of 2008, the main character at the request of followers goes to Russia to explore the abandoned Camp Yunost. Locals say that this place is inhabited by restless souls. This will need to be checked. I don't know why the fuck you would ever want to check to see if it was accurate, but go off, I guess. So we'll see. Uh, no, so the, the grips on these are, like, the ivory, um, with the Jolly Roger in the side. Yeah! I'm hoping so. I've actually been pretty pleased with Amika Games and the turnouts for that, so we'll see. Uh, I guess we're gonna experience it together. Um, don't forget that the, the VODs, uh, thankfully to Dosik because he is ever so gracious in assisting me with that. VODs are available from prior streams, um, if you guys do want to check it out or if you happen to miss anything. So if you missed Locked Up or if you missed Find Yourself gameplay, um, those should be up. Uh, I believe Locked Up was split into two separate streams, so we'll probably do the same thing today, but I'm pretty excited. Hi, Hoogs! But yeah, I figure we'll we'll go ahead and get started. Yeah, all of them have been really good. I will admit, um, Locked Up got me a few times. I was really, really surprised. But, uh, the little- that little shithead sitting on top of the fucking cabinet fucked me up for a second. I was not ready, for sure. Was not ready. She came flying off of the- the fucking top of the cabinet, and I was like, oh cool, that's- this is fine. This is good. This is... Jesus. Um... Uh, I don't know what else to put this under. So we're just gonna go with... Leveling. Great. Nice. Oh, uh, it's going okay. Hey, Seth, how are you? All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and get started with Summer of 58. Um, I will, of course, answer questions as always. Okay. Oh, okay, so there is a seizure warning. Please be aware of that. So if any of you are sensitive to light um, or flashing, um, please be aware before we actually head into this game and take care of yourselves. Um, I will try to be cognizant of when those events are occurring, but I myself won't actually know. I haven't touched this game yet, so uh, just take care of yourselves. And if you do see new people pop up, um, periodically mention it. Just help out, help out your friends. The Outlast Trials trailer? I don't think I've seen that one yet. Hey, Seth! Okay, Hal, that sounds good. Oh, yeah. this has another level. Hello? Okay. Sometimes people make up things that aren't there. It seems to them that the entity controls their mind and their life. They do terrible things that can drive you crazy. I don't believe in paranormal phenomena. I believe that the troubles that people commit are their own fault or those who brought them to this. And in order for you to believe your eyes and not fictions, I made revealing videos about paranormal phenomena in two houses in which, according to people's stories, madness was happening. My name is Alex Morton, and we're getting started. I guess I didn't have to read that that fast. Oops. This is the house from Locked Up. Wait a minute, is this the same guy? I, by the way, I'm not controlling this, so I'm not sure what's happening right now. But this is the same house that we just saw in Locked Up. I don't... 
I don't remember... I don't remember this upstairs. Oh, fuck! This is the other... Oh! I searched all the corners, but I didn't find any evidence confirming paranormal activity in these houses. Now I'm going to an abandoned pioneer camp in Russia at the request of my subscribers to find out if the rumors that the locals have been talking about for so many years are true. They say that there are ghosts of dead people in this place at the hands of one of the residents. He himself was never found. The bodies of those people were also not found. Local residents avoid this place, but those who were touched by this tragedy do not allow to open the doors of this building in memory of the dead and missing. I came to Russia to investigate what happened, to find out if the rumors are true and to find evidence of this. In keeping with my tradition, I closed the doors of the building behind me so that there is no temptation to leave it. And I'm staying here for a few nights recording a report. I have a video camera, a sleeping bag, a backpack with things, and food with me. Okay, Zach Baggins. Let's go irritate some spirits. Sounds good to me. Hello? Need to explore this camp. So, locked up and find yourself. Those two houses um, and rooms were from um, both of those games. So, this must be the... Th I guess I picked them in the right order, which is really weird. So, this must be the third one. Alex is having none of that shit. Yeah, I'm, I'm not really sure. This is, uh, this is pretty wild so far. The fuse is blown. There's no light in the building. Oh, okay, because that's safe. Alright, so I got a video- Oh, no. Russian English Dictionary. Okay. I was translating some Russian books in college, and I took a Russian English Dictionary with me to help with the translation. I found it at the local market. An investigation is underway on the disappearance of children and employees of the Unost Pioneer Camp, which was opened in 1955 under the leadership of Director Maria Anatolyevna A. The suspect in this case is a child living in this camp. The name is Yakov. Evidence of the victim was found in his locker. What happened to him and where he is now is not known. We're starting off quick, aren't we? I think it's a little, it's a little weirder for me because this is all, like, children's stuff. Like, it's, it's kids. Not, not, like, shitty teenagers, but, like, oh, okay, I guess we're kicking down the doors then. Was it that much of an effort? Damn, dude. This developer quit making games due to streams to our refund system. That's a bummer because these were good. That's really too bad. I 100% I would have supported these guys. So that that is a huge bummer. I'm happy to play these now though, so I'm cool with that. <laughs> writing appears on wall. Sees writing. Looks it up in the Russian English dictionary. Sand... Wi sand... Wi oh shit, it's murder! Yeah, people like that are fucking assholes. I'll say it straight. Don't do that. Support your fucking indie developers. There are legends that there was an orphanage near this camp, and there lived a strange girl who was afraid of water. She did not wash and did not go to the river. One day, the older girls decided to laugh at her, tied her hands, and poured water over her. She was very scared and ran away. They couldn't find her for many days, and they decided to s th they decided that she was dead? But one night, she came back in her pajamas all wet and killed everyone who had bullied her. After that, her spirit appears in the bathroom on a full moon. Um. No thank you. Oh, this must be the bathroom. Ye fucking ha. Huh? All right, well, I guess I can't touch anything. Hey, thank you. Yeah, like, <gasps> Nyari! Hi, Nyari. Yep, 
Yeah, this is actually, so I was just telling everybody, this is the third game out of the other ones that we played. So this is the last one. Unfortunately, I guess the developer um, isn't really doing these anymore on Steam because of a two-hour refund system thing, which is unfortunate because I very much enjoyed these. So we are just chilling, enjoying this for third game and seeing what's the what. In 1958, towards the end of the summer, parents called the camp to find out if everything was all right with their children, but no one answered. When they arrived at the camp, they found no one. Only abandoned buildings, only abandoned things and a mess. All the locals helped in search for the missing children, but in vain. Did someone feed the cats here? There's cats here? Cats? Those are not cats. Cats? Cats! <gasps> Hi! Hello, babies! Look at the kitty kitties! I definitely thought they were fucking with me about the cats, and then I heard purring and couldn't figure out what was happening. It's really pretty out there. I don't know if I'd want to lock myself in this fucking building, though, so go, go off. Get hard. Alright, so it looks like I am stuck for the moment. Hello? I guess I don't need night vision yet. It's scary that they set up a night vision concept and I'm really unhappy about it already. Oh, fuck no. Um. Okay, all right. Hey, bunny. Bunny. Fucking weird all right then good talk will the cats protect me because that's the second doll oh there's another one i guess i did miss the first one unless it was on a shelf or something Hey, how are you? Oh, there we go. Well, I guess that works. Not that there's probably anything in the, the shelves. Oh, a starfish! That's weird. I don't like this zoom mechanic. Hello? Kitty, 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 kitty. Good kitties. What is that? I read this one already. Creepy bunny doll's pretty high on the list of things that made me go, nah, I'm good. Oh, hey, thank you so much! Oh, shit, did that get announced? Can I tell you guys now? <laughs> Wait, hold on, I got distracted. Um, my bad. I didn't know that had been announced. Hold on. Yo! Cool! I didn't know that that was announced. So I'm excited to tell you guys, now that I can tell you, um, that I am uh, a part of a cast playing a character named Shiori. Uh, so that is going to be for Cirque du Monstro. Uh, if you guys would like to check them out, I will go ahead and retweet. Um, I'll retweet everything. But yeah, I'm really excited to start talking about voice acting projects, by the way, that I haven't been able to. Uh, another one actually is uh, Aniline City. Um, I am super stoked to work with the Aniline City crew. If you guys haven't seen it, um, they don't have necessarily direct socials, but there is a website for Aniline City, so be, be excited for that. I can't tell you much about the character that I play, uh, but I think that you will enjoy the ride for sure. But yeah! Yay! I'm trying to think if there's any, anything else I can talk about. Um... Let me, let me, let me find the shit that I'm doing and, and think really quick. 
Oh, there's a couple of up and coming projects that are TBA um, that I am excited to be doing as well. Uh, so I will announce those as they come along. But there's several novels, fantasy novels, that I have had the pleasure of being included in. I will also be working on a narration for um, for Preston Fassell for his Quentin Serganov book. Um, so Our Lady of the Inferno, where I played Trish, one of the characters in the book, alongside of Barbara Crampton and Doug Bradley. Um, the same author who wrote that book actually has done another book, and I'm pretty excited to say that I uh, have the pleasure of narrating that one under his request as well. So you guys should see that um, here shortly. Yay! Happy six months! Woo! I was scared, and I didn't know it would end here. I trusted her. My friend Anna, I'm sorry for not being able to stop this. Your friend was an asshole. <sighs> the ball again. Okay. All right. Little girl. Little murdering child. Oh, just the bunny. The little asshole. All right. Well, there's nothing here, so. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I played enough Among Us to know where vents go. Why did you- No, you can't spook the cats! It will be dark soon. I need to look for candles. Is that a little... Hi. Hey, look at that. That's not safe. Oh no. Oh no. No. I'm having Silent Hill flashbacks. I would really rather not. Why the fuck would you be here by yourself? Need to find a lighter or matches. Bro. On a list of one to intelligent decisions, this was not fucking it. Oh good, the rabbit's gone. What about here? So we got cigarettes, but we don't have... Matches. No, no. I don't know why anybody would keep that shit in the bathroom, but... Little doll. The cigarette package that we found was over here, I think, right? I thought. Oh, maybe not. Ugh. Eh. No? It does have Dead Space vibes. Yeah, I don't- I don't know, man. That's my immediate thought is like, why the fuck are you gonna traipse your happy ass into like... Oh my god. Like, you're by yourself in Russia. You don't know what the fuck you're getting into, and you're kind of just yeehaw cowboying your happy ass through the fucking roll. Is this- is this anything? No. I really don't like... <sighs> Alright. Hey, Hex, how you doing? Check the backpack. There's a backpack? Did I miss the backpack? Oh. No. Yes. Oh. I brought a sleeping bag I, as I plan to spend a few nights. Backpack? Backpack, backpack. No. No clicky of the backpack. Wait. That is the broken fuse. Nothing there. Oh, look, a hammer and nails, because that is definitely... Something that is seen in these games. I'm doing okay. Just doing my best. That's what Americans do, right? <laughs> I shouldn't laugh, but it's true. I think I'm missing the, the lighter and matches and stuff. I just assume they would be in here, but... Ooh, a mallet. 
In the toilet? Oh, that's a dead bird. Mm. I also am kind of glad that this doesn't have a battery system. The Death Stranding Director's Cut Edition does make me want to actually play it. Does it? I'm profoundly against randomly traipsing around spooky Russian huts in the woods. This is why Americans die so often in Europe. I'm not going to contest anything you're saying. I watched Hostel. You need to pick up a small mirror and stand in front of a large one to make a corridor. Say three times, barefoot... I'm not saying that shit out loud. I don't know where the fuck you picked that up from. Something something, show me my fate. And I will something something, give shoes. Give shoes. I don't, that's not a fair trade, right? Is that a fair trade? Ah, thanks for the gift sub. Ah, toilet crow. I, girls in Russia love to guess. Okay. I, I'm, I don't know. Maybe I'm one of those weird people. Like, I didn't really mind the, the hostel, but I'm, uh, the hostel films, but I'm not, I'm not, like, 100% broken down, like, that's my shit favorite things in the whole wide world. Why do we not just go through this open window? Hey! What kind of Bloody Mary? To be fair, it may be an original. I don't know. That's a really good question. Maybe here? Okay. That wasn't it. S starfish. Starfish butthole. Book. Nothing, nothing, nothing. This is where I found the Russian doll. Which doesn't do me any favors. Fire extinguisher. Letter. Photo. Okay. Bottles. Nothing useful, nothing useful. Alright. We're just doing a deep dive, trying to figure out where the fuck the matches are, because I definitely, I think, overlooked them. No, 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 no. Alright. Is it in the doll? I don't think so. Oh, there is no doll. Uh, no, it is in fact not in the doll. Because there is now no doll. Um, unless it's somewhere else. Oh, you mean in the little Russian doll? That's a good question. I don't know. Let me look. Nah. Uh, I have not had the pleasure yet, but I am excited to take Ellis on a mini date and go see it. Oh, here? You sunk my battleship. I'm finding toys all over the fucking place, but there's no... Matches. You would think it'd be in the backpack. Like, this this motherfucker would bring a lighter or some shit, right? No? No. Okay. Well, I've checked everything I thought there was to check. No? No? In the bowl? Not in the bowl. Toilet bird, do you have any wisdom? No? Great. That's nice. But that's not a matchbox. Are you fucking kidding me? If you don't stand at the correct angle, looking north upon a full moon, you will never discover the item you need. Figured it out. Are they, where they can be accidentally kicked over. You're not wrong though. All right, ye fucking haw, or whatever. Now I can spread out my sleeping bag. Bro, li listen. Done, need to prepare for the night.
Night number one. Old school adventure logic. Not up to sleep. He- Are you fucking- Are you fuck? This motherfucker brought- This motherfucker- This motherfucker brought a clock. He brought a fucking clock, but he didn't bring matches or fire? Who the fuck? Oh look, another dead bird. It's good. It's good shit. Oh, lots of dead birds. Oh, but the toilet bird's gone. I hope he f he flew free. Nana! Hey, Nana! It's creepy. That's rude. He just brought things that didn't mean they were smart things. That's a mood. Pragmatism ain't our forte. Or a knife. What's he got? A knife! No! That's all I picture. Alright, what do we got? Okay, those are still closed off, so I guess that's just not a thing. Uh, alright. Rabbit. Where's the kitty kitties? I would have felt a lot safer if we could have kept the cats. That thing is fucking weird, and hasn't stopped being weird. Alright, let's see. No, no one's home! No one home! Not me! I keep half expecting to look up at the fucking windows and there's something in there. For their natural bounties of fire making tools and general camping equipment, to be honest. And catnip, apparently. Are you stealing my shit, you little asshole? Oh, the toilet birds are gone again. Except that, nope, that one's gone too. Are you eating the toilet birds? What is happening? Hey. Excuse me. Pardon. Thanks, I hate it. Is somebody eating loudly behind me? Because that is a worst nightmare. Like, that's not- none of this spooky shit? No. But, like, somebody chewing in my ear? Yeah, that's a fucking problem, bro. Oh, good, the door's shut. Great. That's good. It's good, it's good shit. It's good stuff. Of course it's locked. The ghost is telling you to be socially distant, providing a mask and everything. There's like 15 masks in this room. You right. Hey. So I would really like to go back in there. No. No. Oh my god. I'm going to move this over here to a safe space. I can't pick up the phone now. Is that that motherfucking Girl Scout? I've got a bone to pick with you, little girl. Your fucking bullshit ass cookies, I swear to God. Why are you in Russia? Oh, you bitch. 
Oh my god, I, I swear to god. I'm gonna fucking exercise your spirit, I swear to god. Oh my god, my head! Samesies. How did I get here? I need to find my video camera. Bro, listen, um... I think a video camera is the least of your fucking concerns, but that's fine. Get hard about it, I guess. Yay! Is that a pigeon? Hey, buddy! Hey! How's it going? What you eating? Hey! Alright. Go off. I can't read what it says. I need to get my Russian English dictionary. Sure, I would love to pick that up again. Journalist detected. If I buy these fucking cookies, will you please leave? Alright, I guess I'll go back. Did you steal my shit? My video camera! Oh no! They're just- I don't understand what it says. I'll have to use my dictionary. Oh look, a dictionary. You're not welcome here! The one who hit me on the head took the candles. I have to figure out what's going on here. Y'all rude as hell. Like, I came here fucking uninvited and shit, and you're fucking doing this to me, thinking like, mm, yeah, I'm just gonna give them a hard time and steal their shit and hit them over the head. Fuck you. It's not like this guy deserves it or anything, kind of showing up unannounced or whatever. Oh, look, a water bottle. Motherfucker brings an alarm clock, but God forbid he doesn't think to fucking bring anything else that's useful. Proceeds to stay. You right. The ghost looted your body and probably took your cash. I thought head trauma was the ghost saying hello. We, we, we got our video evidence. We can leave now, right? Is that- was that guts? Are you on top of the cabinet again? I swear to God, if you're on top of the cabinet again. Nope, it's come from the vent. Something, somewhere. I just want you to know you're a creepy little asshole. 1955, opening of the youth children's camp. All right, let me read this shit that's on the table. Children. He's a good bird. All right. Late at night when people fall asleep, no need for fun and no need for a fool, and the bells are empty and the eyes are full of bitterness. The courtiers don't know what what that fun means to, to the fool. The fool decides that. Enough is enough. And he that night, wearing a sad suit, poisons the court and the king. I'm sad at heart, but the plan is not a failure. The fool will no longer be fun for you. That's really, um... Intense for a Girl Scout to be writing who's, like, maybe ten. But, like, go off. I've been trying to reach you about your car's extended warranty! Probably. That wouldn't surprise me. All right, okay, so what are we... Okay, I got my camera back, great. Fuck, not that I wanted it. Might as well investigate this room, I guess. 
This game is the Vault Tech salesman story after Fallout 4. Oh my god. <laughs> Why does he have to take such a deep fucking breath? I fucking... Holy shit! That's a side of beef. Great. Oh, hey, look, a thing. It doesn't work! I need to find the fuse. No, nothing I can read? What about that? No? Oh, a, a thing! Pocket watch. Uh, oh, dead birds. Great. It's great. It's good. Can I just fucking leave? Like, why would this guy stay here? What part of this makes him go, Ah, yes, this makes sense to stay in this room. <laughs> I haven't finished looking around the room. Okay. Sorry. The director of the Pioneer Camp Unist, Maria... Anatolievna disappeared like the rest of the camp workers. Maria had previously taken care of children in an orphanage from 1944 to 1950. She was a caregiver who devoted herself only to work. Discipline was the most important to her, so the parents entrusted their children to her. Oh, she did a great job. Ye fucking haw, I guess. What is that? No? Nothing I can touch. 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 Bird. Touch. No. Touch. No. Can I leave now? Is that what I was supposed to find? I guess I'm supposed to fucking dig through the garbage. Can I dig through the body? No? Thought I'd give it a go. Alright, well there's nothing to find here. Oh, a footprint! Great! That's good. It's good, it's good shit. This one? No? Footprint? No? No? Oh, a fox! Look at it! It's cute! Hmm. Uh, I I'm just not real confident. Be clean, neat, pioneer, show an example of everything. Why is he only reading half of the Russian? Great. A gate or something. I can only go so far this direction and you won't let me pick through the body stuff, so. Still more to find. Are you sure you want to get out of this room? I fucking guess not, Charles. If you would give me a general direction on what else to look at, though, that'd be fucking great. Alright, so we're back in that little nitpicky, if I don't do the right angle at the right time bullshit that this game has been so notorious for so far. Can I- is it time to take this? No? Great. Fuck that thing. It is cute. It cute, Fox. All right. Oh. Oh. Oh! One day a girl came to the camp with a stuffed hair toy. She went everywhere with him and even slept with him. The guys began to mock her that she came with her favorite bunny as a little girl and made fun of her. Even the director asked to hide the hair in the closet so that there would be no disagreements among peers. The girl listened to her and put the hair in the locker. And in the coming night, the hair came to life. He was offended by his mistress and those who mocked her and strangled everyone at night. I'm sorry, what? Oh, a fuse! What do you know? That's the shit that I needed. I'll take the box with me. If something goes wrong, I'll use the light bulbs. You just a walking motherfucking horror stereotype, aren't you? Great. 
Uh, polite reminder for those of you who are viewing but are not subbed, I sincerely apologize. I am currently locked in sub only as far as the chat is concerned, uh, just for the safety of everybody else and also of the watchers. Make sure everything is uh, a safe and sane place. So thank you for being understanding. Also, kind reminder, this game does have flash warnings. So please be aware of that. If you are sensitive to flash or seizures, uh, this game may, I haven't run into it yet, but may have flash warnings. So please be aware. Whatever. Can I put the fuse away now? Like, this is stupid. I'll pass on that one, Chief. Evil Magic Rabbit says you a punk ass bitch. Turn on the light! You mean... Where was that light? Was it in here? Am I in the wrong room? Oh, maybe- oh no, it was the circuit board on the wall. This one. Hey! Oh, oh fuck no. We're turning that right the fuck off. Nobody gets music in this house. Meanwhile, screams at broken glass. You right. I need to go to bed. It'll be dark soon. Okay. I mean, personally, I don't I don't really think that that's a good idea, chief, but you know. Go off. You go ahead. You take you you take the big sleep. Yeah, because I expect to see somebody come flying at me in the middle of the night. Like, it's some bullshit. Turn down for what is the creepy music? Don't tempt me. I will find a way to make that happen. The clock stopped at 3.07 a.m. Big fucking surprise. Can I- can I grab a light bulb and be prepared? Is this man just not prepared for horror- like, horrible bullshit? Oh my god, why? Go back to sleep, you fuck! No dead birds. Alright, I guess we moved on. Uh-uh-uh! No one's home! Ew. I don't like the night vision. It reminds me... It reminds me of Outlast and I fucking hate it. I keep expecting to look at these beds and see bodies at some point and I'm really not... Man, they're really trying to sell me those extended warranties. Ma'am, are you okay? Do you need assistance? Guess not. Thanks, good talk. Oh, fuck you and fuck that! I don't know what that was, but I was way too fucking close to the door to be ready for it. Ho! Oh. Body? But In the vent. Uh-uh. Oh! Nope, same beef. Big beef stick energy. That's fine. Bird! The box wasn't here before. This is... That goes really wants your company. I can see clearly now the light is on. I can see all the bullshit coming my way. 
isn't a horror movie. It was a docudrama of a theoretical nuclear war between Russia and the West. English made called Threads. The sheer hopelessness of... Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, yeah. Snap into a Slim Javosky. It's locked. Should be... It would be interesting to know what's... No! No, it wouldn't! How the fuck are you still alive as a human being? You're like, oh, no. Let me just open this mysterious fucking box. Oh, my God. Sir! There was spare light bulbs in the box. I hate this man. I hate this man with every fiber of my fucking being. Hate him. Big, big hate. Lots of hate. Can't stand him. Making bad decisions. <laughs> you right, though. Man, between this and the fucking Girl Scout, I am just above and beyond over this bullshit. All right, well that's shut down now. Light bulb's fixed. Anything else? Why is this man not going back to bed? I just don't, I don't understand his innate ability to be a dumbass. This is... Is somebody taking a piss? We are no longer taking a piss. Was it you? Oh, that thing is horrible. I hate it. I ha I hate it. What is this box? It's a piss box. Ew, is it dripping? What's going on? Oh, I don't want to look up. There's a decision I have to make here. It's an important one. Ah, I got you, you bitch! Fuck! Drippy fucking McDripperson! I got you, I got you, no, my god! Please leave me alone. I don't know what the fuck you are or why this man's in Russia alone fucking around in a children's camp, but my god, man, he's making dumb fucking decisions and that looks like a really dumb decision, so I'm gonna go for it. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, you motherfucking piece of shit, I swear to god, you harlequin bastard. Gonna fix another light bulb. No, no light bulb. No, no fixing of the light bulb. No. Is that not a thing we're doing now? We're not fixing the light bulb? Okay. Can we just, can I just, I just need you to go back to America, my guy. Like, you have made a terrible error in these days. Oh my God. Oh, we're not, we're not doing that either? That is breathing in a gas mask! Oh my god! Oh, I hate it. I hate this whole fucking thing. Why is this man wandering around strange Russian land? Was it mad? Are you mad? I just... I really just need you to... to just... 
Fuck. Oh, this man didn't bring fire. He didn't bring a knife. He was like, no, no, man. It's fine. This is good. Fuck you and your stupid ball, you little Girl Scout. I swear to God. What is- well, oh, with this key I can open the box! Because the box is what's important here! Couldn't possibly be the fact that I'm stuck in a fucking room with a bunch of dead people, but no, 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 please, let's focus on the fucking box, and not the fact that we need light! Fuck every single one of you. Why are we so obsessed with this box? Get your shit together, Charles. Dear Diary, today's the annual opening day of my camp. I've been preparing for this for three years, so that this summer will be special for me. During these days, I will bring up real people in them, but they will also help me a lot. Okay. Night of 58. Oh, we're going back. This is a flashback now. Okay. All right. Okay. Tonight on the stream, Autumn fights Russian moth people. Oh, yeah. I'm so, I'm so strong. I'm just going to fight these Russian moths. The real killer. Oh, I hate it. This is, this is horrible. All right. Oh, look, event. I'm not sure what they're doing, but they look suspicious. No? Candle. Class, 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 class. Drawings and pictures. Those crows are very pissed off about something. Don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious. Yeah, my worst fear, a scale. Children and caregivers are asleep, I won't bother them. Then why are we here? Oh look, an open desk, how strange. Anna, we need to run. It's all because of the director. I was spying on her. She was talking to someone about something bad. You have to believe me. Warn everyone. We don't have much time until I hit her key. We don't have much time. I hit her key in the closet. We can make it. Help me. What an asshole. I have a music box that sounds just like this one. No joke. And I hate it. This is very perturbing. The key to the safe. Where is the safe? Is this the safe? No. Is... You filthy child! Um, it wasn't me? What's in the safe? What's in the box? Yakov Parasit stole the second gas cylinder. I need to spray sleeping gas so that the children can be transferred to the hospital for surgery and then returned back. I'm sorry, what? We worked together with Alexei Sergevich in an orphanage. Then I acted carelessly and I received a complaint. The director had to close the shelter. I was suspended from medical work. Now I will not make such a mistake because only he knows about our agreement. I must continue to find people for him to collect their kidneys and Alexei Sergevich will help to perform a heart transplant operation for Ivan. 
According to all indicators from the medical records, Yaakov is an ideal donor. I'll set it up an accident and no one will look for him. The filter's missing and the glass is broken. He ruined my gas mask. A special boy, Yaakov came to the camp. He has no parents or relatives and he became my favorite because he's so similar to my son Ivan. I really want to see him. Yaakov is a good boy, although he does not speak, but he understands everything and does everything I ask. In the afternoon, I had to meet with Alexei at the shelter where we used to work. He ordered us to fulfill our agreement tonight. This day has come. Yaakov will help me with this. Before going to bed, children always invent horror stories while the counselors put them to bed. This can distract them. So you're a... F oh, I thought that was something there, and then I realized it was the shadow of the alarm clock. Uh, this guy's an asshole. The doctors make the wrong diagnosis for Ivan. He needs a heart transplant. Only this will help him. I no longer have the strength to fight with the doctors. We decided not to contact them again. I will heal my son myself, no matter what it takes. Uh-uh! Uh-uh! No! That's a fucking no from me, dog! Well, uh... Oh, you little asshole. Need to put the gas cylinder under the door and go back to the classroom. I feel dirty doing this. Like, this is not okay. What if I don't turn around? Oh, no. Oh, my God. Maria's Diary, Russian English Dictionary, camera. What in the fuck is happening? All right, well, it's daytime again, guys. Ye fucking haw. You were told to get out of here, leave this place alone. There are empty pages left in Maria's diary. You can use them to answer. I hear him standing outside the door. Why are we communicating with this person? I hate this man. I know what happened here. Let me help you. Tell me who are you. Why are we having... Who... Ha... I... It's really nice how the ghost is living your Russian to English dictionary alone. It's good to see that despite the urge to kill you, they only want you to understand why. Hello? Fuck you. Uh, was that all? Is that- was that the conversation? Ah, man, a few words. Not I. That sign won't stop me because I can't read! Oh my god. You fucking little asshole, I swear to god I'm gonna- I will punch you across the room. Should try writing the letter again. For fucking- I read that people were killed here. Did you do that? Tell me and I can help you. No, same. Same. This is keyboard throwing status. Um. Are we good now? 
Why are you having a conversation with a mystery man behind a door that potentially killed an entire fucking row of people, including children? I don't understand what your fucking logic is here, bro, but trust me, it is not the best. Oh my god. Why? He's doing it for YouTube AdSense. Fucking would not surprise me. I was accused, but I didn't do it. Get out of here. Uh-uh. 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 Is your name Yakov? Have you been living here for alone for many years? All right, look, let me... Listen. Listen. Um, so there was fucked up meat inside this room. The light bulbs keep blowing. You're seeing mysterious visions of dead people. And then this guy is locked behind a door and you are having a handwritten note conversation with him. I don't know if you've picked up on maybe get the fuck out of Dodge, but... Brought a clock to a haunted house. You can't argue with the solid logic like that. You fucking right, bro. Are we... Are we... Are we... What are we doing? Guess who's back? Back again. It's me. Tell a friend. Yes, here I can communicate with my friends. We guard this place because it is our home. A lot of people came here just to break our things, but my friends helped me drive away strangers. I'm afraid that someone will see me and tell me that I live here and those people will come for me. I mean... Oh, okay. Who are your friends? Why are they here too? Are you fuck- This man, this man is gonna be the literal death of me. I swear to God, I am doing my best. You ever wanted to punch a protagonist? Because, man, I am having... The spirits of this place, those who were tortured here, they remain locked up. That day, in the evening after lights out, someone came. Probably it was the person with whom the director spoke. He didn't find me. I think that, because of this, he poisoned all of the residents and the director. Listen, I'm not, I'm just... All this was planned by the director of the camp? What are you talking about? What kind of person was she talking to? Okay, listen. I don't want any of your goddamn cookies, you little shit. You can go ahead and allow that. No, you're fine, Scythe. It's- I have it auto set up for that reason because of everything that's been happening, so it's no stress. You're fine. Dosik just has to approve it. Why does this man not have any protection? It's all her. I saw our director talking to someone in an old hospital near the camp. They agreed that they would do their work at night, and then I realized that it was connected with us, but I wouldn't- I couldn't warn everyone. I didn't see who else was there because I was scared and hid. In the morning, I went into the building and found no one. No- Her- oh, her safe was also not there. I thought that the man and his assistants had taken everyone away and hidden the bodies in the building. I had to stay here and live in the ventilation, only to go to the rooms.
So, is this how we communicate the storyline? Because this is wild. You know that guy at least has a writing utensil. I hope you don't die in the Keanu Reeves Baba Yaga way with a fucking pencil. Wouldn't that be the shocker? That building abandoned? Can I get there? Bro! God, I hate this man. I'm not- we're not going into a hospital, my guy. Like, I'm not having it. We're not fucking doing it. Yeah, Cove doesn't answer anymore. It's time to go to the abandoned hospital. I need to tear the boards off the front door. Why did you board up the front door in the first place, my guy? What the fuck made you think that that was going to be any semblance of a good idea? But you know what? You yeehaw your way through this because you deserve it. He's doing his best, Osik. This man is really out here trying to do his best. Yeehaw. This is wild. Night number three. Because, you know, we needed to do this at night, I guess. Gonna take that. Stop blowing holes in my ship! Oh my god, why are we in a hospital? This is not... Proof of fucking what, bro? Oh my god, I hate him. I hate this guy. I fucking hate him. I swear to god. Why are we in an abandoned Russian hospital looking for fucking... I hate it. I hate you. I hate you. Okay, everything's locked. Time to go home. No? No home? Okay, great. I assume I was supposed to have seen something and I missed it, so that's- that's for the better. Oh my god, why? Why? Who? What? Oh my god, this is... You're a bunch of assholes. Two... <laughs> I'm sorry? Okay. 1946, after the war, dozens of children ended up in shelters after losing their parents. An orphanage for the maintenance and upbringing of orphans worked under the leadership of the military. Oh good, a cabinet. Something a little girl can hide on top of and sell me cookies from. No? No cookies? Sounds good to me. Just gonna, just gonna make loops, make rounds, no big deal. Just gonna make rounds until you decide to crawl up on there and scare the piss out of me again. Thanks. Fight nights at Fjordors. <laughs> This character has made dumbass decisions across the board, bro. Oh my god, I hate it. Okay. The doctor of the orphanage was detained for illegal organ trafficking for six years. He fraudulently made incorrect diagnosis and performed operations to remove the kidney. The director did not know about this, but he could not continue to lead his position. The orphanage was closed and the building became abandoned. 
This door leads to another corridor. I have an angle grinder with me in my backpack. You brought a fucking angle grinder, but you didn't bring fire? I just want to know what kind of man thinks to bring an angle grinder to an abandoned location where there is probably not electricity, but doesn't bring a generator or fire. Oh my god. Fuck you! I'm fine. Ah. Oh, there's no door. The place won't let me go. I have to finish what I started because you were the dumbass that walked in there at night in the first place, sir. But don't worry about a thing. Let me just get this angle grinder out of my- Oh my god, fuck. <sighs> just give me the angle grinder. It's gonna be fine. man brought a fucking angle grinder with a battery pack, but still didn't bring a lighter. Okay. I'm fucking... <laughs> Yeehaw, Alex! I know what I'm doing is wrong, but I have no choice. I have to save my son, Ivan. I was lucky that Alexei agreed to help. I mustn't let him down. No one should know about our affairs. But they did! What year is this that there's battery packs? Oh my god. This man is sending me. Nobody puts baby in the sink! I don't know if I'll make it in the morning because today's shift is bothering me. I want to run away from here, but then I won't get paid. I hear voices as if I'm not alone. I thought I saw a woman, more like her silhouette or shadow. She went into the closet. I'm afraid to follow her and move. I don't want to check if it's true, or maybe it's just my imagination, which is sharpened after a glass of vodka, because that was smart. On the cabinet, way some products made of feathers and cobwebs. I've never seen them anywhere. They look terrible, and it smells of dead things from there. Okay, I'll have another glass and go to bed until morning. Good idea, sir. That definitely didn't uh, attribute to your impending doom. I'm gonna check the top of every single fucking closet that I see, I swear to God. Hello? Sounds good. No? Okay. I, wa I want to run away from here, but then I won't get paid. Same. Every day of my life. So, which cabinet is this Yahoo talking about? Because there's a lot of fucking cabinets. The angle grinder's battery is still charged. Must have been a Ryobi. What's that? Being haunted by ghosts? Vodka. You want to avoid your mother-in-law at your best friend's wedding? Vodka. Little dead girls trying to sell you cookies? Vodka. Surgery tools, yay! Mm. What cabinet? L listen.
Ew. Uh, that is a note that I, I assume I cannot access. Oh, I can go around. Just kidding. I didn't have time to save him. I don't believe it. This can't be happening. This is not my... Vanetchka. I'll save him. I need to find a donor urgently. Hello? Can I have these? These look... Oh, good. Yes, I would love those. Thank you. Perfect. Well, I guess... Your ability to move things in this- in this place, but yet my character cannot, is really above and beyond, my guy. Yeah, bolt cutters. Has an angle grinder. Picks up bolt cutters. Seems legit. Oh my god, you fucking whore! I swear to god! Jesus! Fuck! I'm good! I am so upset right now. You had an angle grinder! What are you doing? Oh my god. I hate this character. I bolt cutted the door open only to be met with a locked door. Great. Nope, nothing down that hallway. Fantastic. Oh, okay, we're locked in here. Oh, now the door's open. Boy! Kick it. Fucking kick it. Kick that bitch. Kick it. Where are you, you little asshole? If I had sleeves, I would roll them up. If I had sleeves, I would roll them up, and then I would punch. Not gonna hit anything, but I'm gonna punch. Throw hands. Hands on sight. Don't come up the laneway. I don't wanna play anymore. We good? We good? We, we good? Okay. Bone charms. Why are you? <sighs> Sir. Oh, hey, ritual sacrifice. It must be Tuesday. How had her body not decomposed after all these years? I don't know, man. I didn't stop to ask her, did you? Oh, a knife! But not- Oh, wow, that's a really pretty knife. What is that? That's like- That's like a- Like an obsidian fucking bat wing looking. I'd use that shit. That's a- That- No, that's a knife! I'm in. I'm down. I'm, uh, I'm gonna take your knife. If that's cool, or whatever. Um. Let the one who finds me feel the pain of a mother who has lost her child. I curse everyone who couldn't help me. And I'm not just going to leave. I'll be back. What she meant by that and how she would return. Maria, I'm so sorry. dead bodies on the floor. That's, that's some shit. Alright, well, you know. Uh, 
Uh, does anybody want to talk about my car's extended warranty? Death certificate. Here are the documents from 1958. Alexei, with, about whom Maria spoke, replied to her that he would no longer participate in this and refused to work with her. Then, what was the case in question? And who was she talking to when Yakov saw her? There's something else. The death certificate document. This is her son, Ivan. He died in the fall of 1950. Apparently, she couldn't stand it and went crazy. She wanted to save him so badly that she lost touch with reality. Need to get out of here as soon as possible. Well, no shit, Sherlock. Ew. Is this bitch gonna chase me down the hallway? Is that where we're headed right now? Am I about to get fucking chased? Oh my god. I? I knew it, you fuck! Alright, I'm fine. I just want to go home. Can I go home? Okay. Three weeks. Three weeks later. Oh, look, a pinata. Return to the camp. Where'd my shit go? Did Yakov, like, take my shit, too? Hello, Yakov. You no longer need to be afraid that you'll be found and accused of something you didn't do. I've taken care of everything. I, did I didn't tell anyone that you live here with your friends. Protect this place further as it's rightfully your... Rightfully only your home, your friend Alex Morton. I'm so glad that this investigation turned out to be so interesting and unique. I managed to solve the mystery of 58 and help Yakov find peace and freedom. You can read about this in my blog, but we need to move on. I'm going to another place with a terrible history where witches used to live, and there I will have an unusual case. I will tell you about it later. Please stop going places and doing things. So, that is the third game out of the Amika game series that I purchased. Um, I was, honestly, like, bullshit aside, uh, I liked these games. Um, I had a lot of fun with Locked Up, I had a lot of fun with Find Yourself, and this one being the last, I think, of the series. Um, or maybe the first. I guess you could play them in any order. Uh, these were pretty cool. And the music's banging. Um, the, um, the actual, like, gameplay itself and some of the scares were pretty obvious jump scares, but I liked them enough to play it. Um, and to even give it a second play just to see things that I've missed. So, I'm pretty, I'm pretty down with this. Like, this was exciting. I assume that this was supposed to be the next game. And I, I'm guessing it sounds like the developer may have put a halt on that for the moment. He does. Um, this this person is very, very... This this uh, this developer is really good at what they do, for sure. Um, oh, do we get a teaser? Okay, so you kind of get a teaser. That's pretty cool. Overall, though, definitely would like to see more thing. Oh, no. We're not done. Just kidding. Hmm. A few days later. Oh, I'm playing? Oh. The battery is dead. 
I had to wait for the person who bought this house, but after his arrival a few days later, something went wrong. This place has ceased to be harmless. I'm trapped here. I don't think that a woman from a shelter in Russia could get attached and follow me. Does this house have a pendulum for people like her? What if other spirits followed me? Maybe that's why I didn't find anyone in those houses. I miraculously managed to escape from that abandoned orphanage, but I'm not sure... I'm not sure that I will be released now. We need to try to get out and warn that guy that it's dangerous to try to stay here. Okay. Interesting. Ooh. One final jump scare? Hello, Jesus. How you doing, buddy? No? Look, look, I thought we were done. I didn't know y'all were gonna keep doing this shit to me. Who's a slippy slappian? Whoa! I'm good, Nana! That was pretty cool! That was- okay! That was a pretty cool, uh... A pretty cool lead-in. I'm really sad that there's not another game on the way. So that was Summer of 58. Again, if you guys wanted to um, support these, these games are currently available in um, in a bundle, I believe. If not, they are separate and they are currently on sale. Um, personally, I really liked them. I liked the, the time that this developer took. Um, oh. Oh. There's a TBA. So it's called From Day to Day? There's a demo. I don't know if I want to play the demo, though, or if I, I want to see... I'm going to go ahead and add that to my wish list. I don't know what the what the thing is for it, though. And it looks like there's not a lot of, of information, so... Um, I don't know. Maybe we'll see this game finally come out, but I... I mean, I'll I'll pay I'll play it and buy it if they go ahead and they they do move forward with releasing it because that's pretty cool. I've been very happy with this developers um, this developers games, and even though they're very simple, um, they definitely do give you like the the jolt factor, and that's something that I uh, I've been missing in games lately. So that's been fun. I really like it. A bundle of grundles. Loads of the dev stuff quit because loads of people who bought the game refunded it before the two-hour return time. I heard about that, Hibernia. Um, we were having that conversation a little bit earlier, which is very, very fucking unfortunate because I would have liked to have seen them continue. Uh, and the fact that people are so fucking shitty that they're willing to buy a game and then get the refund for it uh, is a load of horse shit. I think that that's uh, kind of... I mean, you're, you're, you're doing harm and disservice to people who are just trying to promote and create. Um, and I think that's, that's really, really, really shitty. That's, that's basically walking into Walmart, buying, uh, a, an apple and saying, oh, well, I ate it already, but I'd like a refund. Like, fuck you, dude. No. But, um, I mean, for what it's worth, I don't know if anybody knows the devs or has have contact with them or know who they are separately, but I, I give all of my, my appreciation towards them for taking the time to make these games. And I am sorry that people were so, uh, so shitty. No, they're they're not. And that's the thing is these games are like 8 bucks. I think I'm sorry, they're 8.99 and you can buy the bundle. Not to mention they're all on sale. So like the least you could do is is pay the price of a fucking venti Starbucks in your day and enjoy the game, you know? So, I appreciate the folks that um hey, hi Bard. I appreciate that these guys were willing to do what they did with the games. I agree. I absolutely agree, Hibernia, and I'm not really sure why that's the case, because some of these games aren't very long. I mean, to be fair, so we started that game, that game was an hour and a half long, 
right? So Summer of 58 was about an hour and a half long is what that took me. And I think the other ones took about an hour and a half as well. So like, it's just very frustrating. It's very, very frustrating. The dev has said that the outpour of support made him reconsider it will take time to think about things. I hope so. I mean, if they if they came to me and needed something, I would 100% lend whatever hand I could. Like, I'm not, I'm a small creator doing my own shit, but I would be willing to do whatever I could to try to assist them because they were fun and they, they did have a lot of really good jump scares. Um, not to mention, you've got me pulled into the story now because now we actually have an establishment of this character that is doing, you know, doing these things and going to these places and starting to realize that maybe he's stuck. So I just, I just think it's so fucking cool. Um, just remember to support your indie developers, like take care of them because they, they work really fucking hard on some of these games. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I guess, I guess that's it for that one.